welcome back this is the last video of the linux playlist and in this video we are going to solve another one of the important programming challenges of linux and the name of this programming challenge is Constants and fractals, recovery, recursive tree bass. Okay, now let's understand this problem. In this problem, we have a screen, and row row of this screen will be sixty three, and column of the screen is hundred, and this screen is filled with underscore. Okay, now we have an input format. And and the maximum input that we can give is between one to five. Five is the maximum. Max. Now, so whenever I will give n equal to one, that means only one iteration it will happen. And in this one iteration, we I have to generate one y shaped structure. Okay, and the length of this y shaped structure will be sixteen. Vertical height is sixteen, slanting height is sixteen. Now, when I will give n equal to two, then there will be two iteration will happen. First iteration, I already told you one is one y shaped structure will generate, and the second iteration, this is the edge of the tip of the first iteration. So there are two tip, so that means there are two y shaped structure will generate. Okay. Now, and the length of this. Y shaped structure will be previous length divided by so previous length is sixteen, okay, and sixteen divided by two is eight. Now let's see if my n equal to three. That means three iteration it will happen. So first iteration length will be sixteen. Second iteration the length of the Y shaped tree will be eight, and in the third iteration again a Y shaped tree will generate at the edge of the every tip of that of the second iteration tree. So this is the first tip. Second tip, third tip, fourth tip. So again, tree will get generate. Okay. Now again, what will be the length? So I told you the previous one divided by two. That is now four, and like that it goes on n equal to four and n equal to five. So this is our problem. I have to design a complete screen of sixty three into hundred. Sixty-three will be rows and column will be hundred with with a filled with with filled with uh, underscore that underscore and after that I have to generate a Y shaped tree and that Y shaped tree will be generated with a one symbol that means this tree will look like this one 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 and one like that like it. Yeah, like that it will generate, and this will, this one will go up to sixteen, sixteen. This will will go according to the iteration that we have entered. If n equal to one, then first one will be sixteen. If n equal to two, then first iteration will be sixteen. Second iteration will be sixteen divided by two eight. And if I have given three iteration, then first one will be sixteen. Second one will be sixteen divided by two eight. Third one will be eight divided by two four. And if like that, it goes up to five. Okay, so this is the complete design we have to do. In this programming challenge, now what we will do? We will go to the hacker end, and we will see the iteration one example. See, this is the iteration one. That means I have given input n equal to one. So this is our screen, and in this screen, only one tree is generated. The, the length of this tree will be sixteen, the vertical height and slanting height is sixteen. Now, if I have given n equal to two, that means if the that means there will be two iteration will happen. In the first iteration. One tree will get generated. After that, in the second iteration, the edge of the tip of the first iteration again one tree will get generated, but the length will be just divided by the previous one. That means sixteen by two by four. And the whole programming, and this is the our programming challenge, and we have to write the complete coding of that in a cell script. Okay, so let's start writing the code. There is a quotation that. 
if you have got any big and complex work then divide that work into smaller subtask and solve that sub smaller subtask one by one so the, and in the later end you will find it out the bigger task will get solved automatically and that's what we are going to do in this problem also okay the first thing that we are going to do we are going to create a screen 63 by 100 63 will be rows 100 will be column column and this screen will be made up of underscore okay so let's see how we are going to do that for that what we will do we are going to create a cell script let's keep the name of the cell script as a recursion underscore tree create a screen and fill with an underscore what we are going to do we are going to use one array and one array and in that array we are going to store all the underscore so for that what we will do i will declare an array here declare and let's give the array name tree now to create a 63 into 100 uh, and keep save that in a underscore in that what we will do we will create a nested for loop okay so i have created a 63 into 100 uh, nested for loop so now what we will do we will store here underscore i think yeah we have created a 63 into 63 into 100 and inside there we have created we have saved in an array format underscore now let's save it let's uh, Give the executable permission command chmod plus x permission given. Now let's execute. So it executed successfully, no error came. That means our nested for loop program got successfully. Not what we will do, we wanted to display the screen. So again, we have to write a nested for loop with displaying the data okay so let's go inside again again we are going to create a nested for loop so So again we have created 63 into 100 now we will display it here how with the help of echo command echo and now echo command what it will do whenever we will write echo command then all the time data will work and display on it after the next screen but we don't want to work on the data in the next screen we want it in the same screen so we are going to use hyphen n hyphen n what it will do it will remove the trailing of a new line and after that we are going to use e e will enable interpretations of a backspace carriage return any type of a shortcut command that we are using for echo so for that i have used e now what i will do i will write dollar here tree dollar i and dollar j so whatever the data we have stored in in this tree tree array it is going to display here now after the done command what we want we want is to start the next slide so that we can properly see the screen between the screen of 63 into 100 so what i have told you earlier that ego command will always starts from the next line so instead of i can write also write a backslash n for the new line but echo command also it will work so i will write echo for the line change here yeah, that's it uh, our job is done now let's save it let's clear the screen 
and what we are going to do first of all i am going to reduce the size of our text so that we can properly see the screen so this is our screen that we have created 63 into 100 screen so our first part is done now 